Mr. Catbus here. Meep meep. Uh, so I didn't want to just slap this on some regular base. I thought about, I got these little 3D printed hexagons or hexagons? Yeah, hexagons uh, that I made uh, for a ship game I'm playing with. Uh, but uh, yeah, just, you know, didn't really do it for me. Went outside, looked through some rocks. I found this one. Uh, just has a cool shape to it. I like it. Sort of a uh, planky, and uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, by the way, I washed this. Um, I would never recommend for those of you who like to grab stuff out of your yard. I would never recommend you just grab stuff out of your yard and immediately start painting on it or or scratch building with it. Um, only because, well, there's a couple couple reasons. Uh, first, you don't know how many hundreds of years of dog and or bird fecal matter or whatever creature has crossed the path of this rock has been imbued in the pores of this stone so you certainly don't want to be touching that stuff um or or having it you know inside plus you don't you don't know what kind of chemicals are on here and uh that and there's just it's going to be covered with dirt it's going to have all kinds of uh debris on it which don't really do well when you're trying to uh what was that that's something i didn't get don't really work when it's just stuck in the rock um you can see a, there's some scratch marks on here little bitty scratch marks uh, i hit this with a wire brush and uh some hot water and some disinfectant soap to uh clean it up and let it dry out and it's it's pretty dry now but i really like the way the fact that this has got a nice flat surface it kind of has a um, a little bit of a wobble to it but not so much that it's uh, irritating it'll it'll sit still if you leave it alone but you know it'll sit relatively flat and uh that little bus will just sit right on there like that pretty nicely see that and I, what I thought I'd do is I'd sculpt some grass around that base and then mount that on top of that and do a kind of a little scene. Um, if you haven't uh, seen uh, My Neighbor Totoro, it's a Ghibli classic, a Japanese anime classic. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, highly recommend it if, uh, especially if you've got little kids, you like to watch that sort of thing. Um, not a lot of prep I'm going to really do to this. I'm probably just going to spray paint it. But, uh, yeah, there's a there's a few things that will probably need to be done here. Uh, I'm just going to literally uh, pop out some grass and then pop this guy on there. I also thought maybe I'll use this kind of curved in section so it stays completely flat. But, I don't know, that kind of poses more problems, too. Then I have to build up a lot more putty. Let me see if I, let me see if I try it this way. That's kind of cool. That might, actually, you know what, that might work, too. It definitely makes it more stable. I might, I might do this. I might go with this. We'll just have to put it more putty to level it off. That's where we want it. Okay. And we'll mix, sort of mix this in with it. Get a little bit more grass on the edges. And dirt. And I want it to be kind of natural looking. So let's, let's poke into this. I don't want it to just look like a pancake sitting on top of a rock, right? Let's move it in with a little more moisture from an unknown source <laughs> so let's press him in yeah i think that'll work trust the process it'll look better when it's done <laughs> kind of laid out where he's going to be squished into so i'm just putting in some grass and they don't have to be super perfect. It just has to kind of resemble some kind of hairy mesh of some vegetation. Then we can mount it 
So what I'll probably do after this is uh, I'll press it back into this again, the model, to make sure that this sinks in where I want it to, or where I plan to anyway. Um, I think it's something like that. And then uh, once that dries, I'll, I'll come back and glue it back in. I might not even have to. I might just be able to press it in and, and it might just stay there. I think that looks about right. Uh, might be a good idea to press it in now. Let's see. I think that's just about where I want it. I think that's probably okay. I think that's sufficiently grassy enough, I guess. So I'm probably going to let this harden a little bit and then come back and uh, spray paint it. And then, uh, you know, with some primer. Okay, I think that looks good. I think once it's painted, it'll it'll read as grass close enough to where it won't really matter. So we're going to let that dry. But um, yeah, so we're going to paint this puppy up. Um, I painted him a uh, base coat of black because I'm going to be dry brushing in successive layers on this pretty much the whole time. So there's that. Gotta be careful when I lay this thing down because I've got glass top with a solid rock. <laughs> let's see, let's see. The first thing I'm probably gonna do is do a little dry brushing on the base. I'm mostly gonna use this sort of uh, tan color because I wanna give the rock a sort of a natural rock color that it had before. I know it sounds kind of counterintuitive because I painted over it, but I'm kind of going for this color, more or less, and texture, to be honest. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, the other thing, and I'm going to put little doohickeys on here, like little felt pads later. The other thing is, uh, this is a mostly brown cat. Uh, I'm not going to use white, the the brown. I'm not going to use light gray or white as a, as a dry brushing color, because uh, most everything in here is going to have kind of a brown base coat anyway. Not fancy paints. This is just uh, your typical apple barrel cheesy craft paint. It cost a buck, not five or ten, like some other paints. But uh, you know, I work with what I got, where I can get my hands on, what has the colors I like, and uh, that sort of thing. So let's do this first. Honestly, can you tell much of a difference between what I just painted and what the actual rock surface looks like? You can, but this and this are going to look almost identical, if not completely identical, by the time I'm done. Some parts already are. So now we know what we're working with. Let's see. Kind of want to do the grass first. So let's do that. But Mr. Baltz, you didn't even let the first layer dry. Yeah, it's dry enough. All right, there's some grass.
I uh, think this guy is ready. Um, need to touch up his mice and the windows. So there's still a few rough spots, but in general, I mean, I'd say I'd call him pretty done. Um, ooh, those headlight eyes. All right. Um, so I'll let you guys go.